Okay, good morning, everyone. Thanks for coming. Welcome to the FCCJ. My name is Tim Horniak. I'm a freelancer here. And uh, today, as you know, it's April 1st, and we are going to get, uh, in about an hour's time from now, uh, announcement of the new Gengo, or rain name which is something that uh, happens only once in a generation, uh, roughly, here in Japan. So it's uh, very interesting for uh, fans of Japanese history like myself. And today, we're uh, honored to have um, the distinguished uh, speaker, Professor Ogura, from the National Museum of Japanese History. And he's going to uh, give us a sort of background and uh, explanation of uh, Gengo. And um, his presentation will be, uh, his remarks will be in Japanese. Japanese, uh, but we have uh, the skills of our interpreter as well. And so um, we will wrap up here uh, at about 11.20, and then we can move down to the bar, I believe, where there's um, they're going to show a live uh, broadcast of the uh, announcement. So we'll um, aim to take some questions before we wrap up. I would just ask you to turn your smartphones to manner mode, please. And um, with that, um, please, uh, Professor Ogura. Ogura, to Moshi Mas, Yoroshiku Onegai Itachimasu. My name is Ogura. I would like to request your best regards for today. Gengo wa ippan ni nengo to mo yobare, tochi ni tsukerareta koyu no shogo no koto o iimasu. Uh, the word gengo is uh, also referred to in Japanese as nengo and uh, refers to the unique title given to a year. Kijuntonaru and uh, in the case of uh, the Gengo, this is giving a title to a year that acts as a benchmark year, and then uh, the title is used to count the number of years that have passed since that uh, baseline year. So for example, when we look at the Western Gregorian calendar, then we see that uh, the terms Gengo or Nengo are not used in reference to the Western calendar. Consequently, when we hear the word Kaigen, or alternating the gen. Uh, this uh, is something that is applied to the nengo or the nengo, the, the name of the uh, era here in Japan. Initially, the uh, word uh, used was normally nengo. However, uh, gengo has the Chinese character gen, which stands for the beginning. Uh, th and so therefore, uh, the word kaigen, or to alternate the beginning year, uh, was uh, started to be used. And consequently, uh, it has become common to refer to the dengo, the name of the era, as gengo currently. え、1889年、すいません、こちらの資料をちょっと間違えていますけれども、1889年制定の明治の皇室転換において言語が使用されてからは法制用語として言語が用いられています。and uh, first of all, I would like to ask everyone to uh, make a change to the handout material. In the first point that is made in the handout material, it references a year, 1989, but this should uh, be um, replaced with 1889. And it was in 1889 that there was the enactment of the imperial household law. And uh, there, uh, gengo was a term that was used as a legal term and since then, it has been in use. This uh, word, gengo, was originally from ancient China. Oh
Now, throughout the world, uh, we see cases where the uh, first year of the uh, reign of a king is used as a start of an era, and uh, there is reference made to how many years of reign of a king has lasted. And this is something seen widely throughout the world. But in the second century uh, BC in China, during the Western Han Dynasty, first of all, at the time of the fifth emperor of the Western Han Dynasty, Emperor Liu Heng, uh, during the course, it was decided to change the way, during the middle of his uh, reign, it was decided that uh, how the years would be counted would be changed. And then furthermore, uh, during the reign of the seventh emperor of the Western Han Dynasty, Emperor Liu Che, uh, there was uh, the adoption of the, a unique title to be, pre to be given to describe the era of the seventh emperor. And since then, uh, there has been the, the creation of this uh, concept of the Gengo. これ以来、中国では1912年に中華民国が樹立されて、民国起源が採用されるまで、元号制度が続きました。And then、uh, from that point onwards in China, until 1912, when the Republic of China was established, the、uh, calendar was continued to use this system until the introduction of the Mingguo calendar system in China. その後、4世紀頃には、コウクリなど朝鮮半島の国々でも元号が用いられるようになり、さらに7世紀には古代日本でも元号制度が導入されるようになりました。Uh, since then, around the 4th century AD in the Korean Peninsula, there was a Koguryo uh, that uh, adopted the Gengo system. And uh, then, uh, furthermore, in the 7th century AD in ancient Japan, the Gengo system was introduced. Nihon de Saisho no Gengo wa, Lopia Kuyonju Gonen no Taika to Sarete i m a s And it is said that in Japan, the first Gengo was、uh, the Taika era name, starting from 645 AD. Nihon Shoki ni yoreba, Sei Hen ga ali, Jose Ten no de atta Kogyok Ten no ga Tai i ste, Ototo no Kotok Ten no ga Sokui suru to tomo ni, Taika no Gengo o tate, Samazama na Sei do Kai Kaku ga Sume rale tato sarete i m a s And according to Nihon Shoki,、uh, classic of、uh, Japan,、uh, it is said that、uh, there was a, a political turmoil that took place. And、uh, the Empress Regnant at that time, Empress Kogyoku,、uh, was succeeded by the Ko Kogyoku, Emperor Kogyoku,、uh, the brother of、uh, the Empress.、Uh, uh, rather, it was. It was、uh, Empress Kogyoku that was abdicated in favor of her brother, Emperor Kotoku. And、uh, the name of the era or the Gengo given at that time was Taika. 7世紀には他に白地、首長という元号が用いられたとされていますが、連続的に用いられたわけではありません。And as a result of the introduction of this system, there were various、uh, systematic reforms that were、uh, adopted. And then、uh, in the seventh century, there w a s also other Nengo, such as Hakuchi or Shicho. But however, these Gengo or name of eras were not adopted consecutively. この大化、白地、首長という七世紀の元号についてはこの時期のことを記す日本書紀には殉職が多く見られ Because of the fact that、uh, these Gengo, the Taika, the Hakuchi, and the Shicho、uh, were those that were said to have been used during the 7th century AD. However,、uh, there are many、uh, Rhetoric, rhetorical embellishments to be found in the、uh, classic Nihon Shoki,、uh, so that there are theories that state that perhaps the Gengo were not in actual use because、uh, there is no evidence that, it, that points to its actual usage during that time. 私としては、大化は実在した元号であり、中国の王朝、唐が周辺諸国に圧力をかける中で、日本では他の東アジア諸国の動向を参照し、朝鮮半島の白木に倣って元号を導入した可能性があるのではないかと考えています。My own theory is that、uh, 大化 
was an actual gengo that had existed. And uh, during the Tang Dynasty in China, there was much pressure that was exerted by China upon the neighboring nations. And uh, Japan, like uh, was likewise was uh, looking at what trends were taking place in the surrounding Eastern Asian countries. And uh, they used that as reference. And also, they followed uh, the course of action taken by Shila in the Korean Peninsula. And, and it is possible that uh, the adoption of the Gengo system took place at that point. ただ日本が大化から白地に改元した650年に白木では唐の圧力を受けて独自の言語を使用をやめ唐の言語を受け入れることになりました。However, at the time that uh, there was the Kaigen or the change of the era from the Taika to the Hakuchi era here in Japan, around 650 AD, Shila was under pressure from the Tang Dynasty of China and uh, was uh, forced to abandon its own Gengo or era naming system and to adopt the Tang Gengo. そのため日本でも元号の使用を取りやめることになったというのが私の考えです。So therefore, my theory is that、uh, at that time,、uh, Japan likewise decided、uh, to、uh, stop the usage of the 元号 from that point. その後、676年に朝鮮半島を白木がほぼ統一し、東アジア情勢が落ち着きを見せる中で、日本は党に習った法制度、行政制度の整備を進め、701年に大法という言語を立てました。And then after that,、uh, in uh, 676 AD, in the Korean Peninsula, Shila was able to,、uh, for the most part,、uh, unify the peninsula. And the situation in Eastern Asia stabilized considerably, so that here in Japan,、uh, it followed the ways of the Chinese Tang Dynasty in its legislative and administrative systems. And in 701 AD, in,、uh, the Gengo Taiho was adopted. これ以降日本では元号が現在まで続けて用いられることになります改元は現在では皇位継承の時のみ行われることになっていますが明治以前の前近代ではそれ以外の理由で改元されることもありました And the Kaigen or the change in the era name now takes place only when there is an imperial succession that takes place currently. However, if we look at pre modern times before the Meiji era, then we see that there were other、uh, reasons for a change in the name of the、uh, era or the Kaigen to take place. Koi Keishou no Toki ni okonare ru Kaigen wa Dai Hajime Kaigen to i i m a s ga, so re igai ni Shou Zui to itte mezurashi, metetai shirushi. 例えば白い亀であるとか五色の美しい雲であるとかが発見されたときに改元する小髄改元逆に地震や洪水日照り火災などの災害や彗星など不吉な印が現れたときに改元する再改元などです。And aside from、uh, the、uh, imperial succession as being the cause of the change of the era name, there have also been cases where there were auspicious signs that were identified. For example,、uh, white,、uh, the appearance of a white turtle or the clouds of five beautiful colors and so on. When they were discovered,、uh, there were cases where a kaigen, shouzui kaigen, or the change in the era name took place because of the advent of auspicious. Signs. And, and on the contrary, there were cases where, in the event of a calamity, such as floods, drought, or fire, that、uh, caused the, the era name to be changed. And this was referred to as the Sai Kaigen, or the Kaigen, the name change that took place as a result of a calamity. また広い意味では再改元に含まれますが、年を実感十二支で表した時の親友、歌詞にあたる年には、中国で王朝の交代が起こる可能性があると考えられて、えー、たことがあり、それを避けるために改元するという習慣も生まれました。
And uh, another uh, reason for the change in uh, the era name could also be construed broadly in the sense of uh, being a calamity. But when you look at the Chinese zodiac, then uh, in the first year of the sexagenary cycle, or the 58th year of the sexagenary cycle, it was often uh, said that in China, a dynasty change took place. And so therefore, in order to avoid that, uh, there were cases where a kaigen, or a change in the era name, was carried out for that reason. そのため数年ごとに改元されることがしばしばでした。そのため数年ごとに改元されることがしばしばでした。そのため数年In China, in, 13, in 1368, with the establishment of the Ming Dynasty, then it was、uh, decided that the Issei Ichigen system, or the one era for one emperor system, would be adopted. これを受けて日本でも、えー、一世一元にすべきであるという主,と主張する学者が現れ、1868年の明治開元時から、一世一元の姓が採用されることになりそれ以降は皇位継承時に限り改元が行われることになりました。And、uh, with the, that、uh, event taking place,、uh, there were、um, scholars here in Japan that、uh, asserted the view that、uh, Japan should also adopt a system whereby it would be a single era applied for one emperor. And with the、uh, Meiji、uh, Reformation that took place in 1868, then、uh, with the start of the Meiji era, it, the system for one era for one emperor was adopted. And since then,、uh, the changes in the era name h a s only taken place、uh, when there was a succession in the imperial throne. 皇位継承と改元の関係については、前近代では皇位についた翌年に改元することが多く、場合によってはさらに遅れることもしばしばでしたが、近代に入ると、1909年に制定された当局令において、天皇戦争の後は直ちに元号を改むと規定されました。Now, in the cases of、uh, the succession to the imperial throne and、uh, the changing of the name of the era, in pre modern times there were cases where the change of the name of the era took place the following year after the、uh, accession of the new emperor. And, but、uh, in some cases,、uh, there were many. Further delays that took place. But in modern times,、uh, with the enactment in 1908 of the Imperial Accession Ordinance,、uh, it was decided that、uh, immediately upon the accession of the new emperor,、uh, the Gengo, or the name of the era, should be changed. 当局令は第二次大戦後に廃止され、その後、1979年に制定された元号法では、元号は行為の継承があった場合に限り改めるとされ、行為継承後、いつ改元するかは示されていません。And then, after World War II, the Imperial Accession Ordinance was abolished. And、uh, then, in、uh, 1978, it was the enactment of the Gengo Law, which says that the Gengo should take place、uh, only in cases where there is the succession to the Imperial Throne. That has taken place. But in regard to when specifically the change to the new era should take place is not indicated in that law. 具体例を見ると、1912年、大正改元時は7月30日の明治天皇崩御公表の同日に改元がなされ、1926年、昭和改元時も同日に改元されました。And、uh, when we look at specific examples, then we see that on 1912,、uh, the name of the era was changed to Taisho on July the 30th,、uh, which was the same day that the announcement of the demise of the Meiji Emperor had taken place. And uh, then uh, there was the accession to the throne at the same day. And in 1926,、uh, when the era name was changed to Showa,、uh, this took place on the same day that、uh, the accession took place. 
ところが1989年、平成戒厳時は、発表は即位同日であったものの、戒厳はその翌日に戒厳されることになりました。これ,はこれは即位同日とすると、午前0時から発表時までの扱いが法的に難しくなるためです。However, in 1989, when the era name was changed to Heisei, then the announcement of the era name was made on the same day as the accession took place. However,、uh, the actual change in the era took place the following day. And this is because if、uh, the、uh, it would be the era change that took place on the same day, At the same time as the accession, then、uh, it would be legally very difficult to account for the time between midnight and until the announcement had actually been made. さらに今回は、退位による行為継承であるため、事前に準備することが可能となったこともあり、即位1か月前に公表し、即位当日に改元することとなりました。<笑> Furthermore, in this particular case, then,、uh, because、uh, the succession to the imperial throne would take place as a result of abdication, then it was possible to prepare beforehand for this so that、uh, the announcement would be made one month before the accession would take place. 実際問題としてコンピューターを新元号に対応させるためにもある程度の期間を置く必要があります。And in, that, in fact,、uh, there is the problem that、uh, there is a certain amount of time that is necessary for the computers to be enabled to reflect the new era name. And so, therefore,、uh, it is necessary to have some time for that to take place. これは退位だから可能,とな可能になったことであり、政府が原則とする崩御による行為継承の場合の改元をどうするかについては、今回は検討されませんでした。Case, uh, the the but, uh, Then, in regard to the imperial succession and when the name of the era should take place specifically, it was not studied in this particular current case. 改元の方法は、前近代では中国の関籍に詳しい学者複数名に文字の候補,さ候補案を複数提出させ、それを上級貴族数名が改元定めと呼ばれる会議を開いて検討し、天皇に選んだ案を創上し、最終的に天皇が決定するというやり方が取られていました。In regard to the method of、uh, Kaigen to take place, in pre modern times in China,、uh, people who were familiar as、uh, scholars with the Chinese classics were gathered, and there were several、uh, proposals that were made of candidate names. And then the upper、uh, aristocrats、uh, would be involved in a conference to determine the name of the new era and to study this. And then uh, these uh, proposals were presented.江戸時代には事前に江戸の幕府に5から8程度の候補案を送って了承を得ることが行われていました。During the Edo era, it was common beforehand in Edo for the Bakfu to receive five to eight candidate names、uh, for acknowledgement from the Bakfu. 1868年の明治開元時には、宮中で新居を祀っていた内視所にて、天皇がくじを引いて真意を伺い、三案より明治を選びました。Uh, when it came to the change of the era name in 1868 to Meiji,、uh, in the shrine, there was、uh, the divine mirror that was used and worshipped in a location called the Naishi Dokoro、uh, in the shrine,、uh, whereby the emperor drew lots to try to determine what divine will was. And from out of three proposed names, the name Meiji was selected. その後の大正開元、昭和開元の時は、内密に準備した候補案より総理大臣が選び、新天皇戦争後に天皇の諮問機関である枢密院の審議を得て、総理大臣が天皇に上奏し、改元証書が交付されました。
And then after that, uh, when the era names were changed to Taisho or to Showa, uh, there were confidential preparations of various candidate names that were carried out, upon which the prime minister went through a, se a selection process. And then after the accession of the new emperor, then there was the uh, Privy Council, uh, which uh, looked into this as an advisory organization to carry out deliberation. And upon going through this procedure, then a report was made by the prime minister to the emperor, and uh, the uh, imperial rescript was issued in regard to the new era name. 1989 and uh, when we look at the case of uh, 1989, when the era name was changed to Heisei, uh, upon the accession of the new emperor, uh, there were efforts that were carried out beforehand by request to study the uh, possible names for the new era. And an official commissioning was made to experts to come up with proposals. And uh, there were knowledgeable people from different quarters that uh, comprised this conference to determine the Gengo. And uh, then after going through a review by both heads of uh, and uh, the deputies of uh, the uh, two chambers of the Japanese Diet, there was an extraordinary cabinet meeting that was carried out, and a report was made to the new emperor, upon which uh, there was the ordinance issued in regard to the change in the era name. The and in regard to Gengo, there were cases during the 8th century in which uh, four Chinese characters were adopted for the name. But normally, it is two kanji uh, characters that are used. And this time, uh, following the example of Heisei, uh, there, it is uh, clear that it will be a two kanji uh, era name. 9世紀 and then uh, from the 9th century to around the 10th century, there were various names that were adopted and proposed uh, following the Chinese classics and uh, looking at official histories and so on. 1人が3から5程度の候補案を挙げることが一般的です。It was general for uh, one person to come up with uh, three to five uh, candidate proposals. 改編定めでは出された候補案の良し悪しを発音や漢字自体の意味、作りなどの構成、中国なども含めてその字を含む言語の洗礼が良い時代であったかどうか、転居となる文が and uh, when it comes to uh, the uh, decision on the new era name, uh, there are various uh, proposed names that were studied, and uh, the pros and cons of uh, those names proposed were looked at in terms of uh, how it is pronounced, or the meaning of the kanji characters themselves, uh, what form they took, as well as uh, including its usage in China, uh, what those uh, characters used in the Gengo represented, and whether uh, any precedents for the use of those kanjis took place in good times or not, and whether the source material was an appropriate one or not were also looked at, and various different angles were studied. Gengo 1979年に政府が閣議報告の形でまとめておりまとめて、In regard to uh, the 
characters that are used in the Gengo uh, for the uh, policy in coming up with a selection in 18, in 1979 that government had uh, gone through the form of a cabinet report and summarized and it is said that uh, in this current case as well a similar process will be followed ただし必ずしもそこからしか選ばれないというわけではなく実際昭和の章平成の生はどちらも初めて用いられた文字でした。Up until now in terms of the number of uh, kanji characters that have been used for gengo, uh, it has only been limited to 72 different kanji characters up until now. However, uh, it does not mean that uh, the selection will be restricted to those Chinese uh, kanji characters. And in fact, when it came to the Showa era, the kanji for Sho, as well as in the Heisei era, the kanji for Sei were both introduced for the first time as a gengo character. なお、天石についてはこれまでの言語は原則として関石でしたが、今回安倍総理大臣は日本の書物を転居とすることを望んでおり、実際に日本の古典に由来する案が候補に上がっているとの報道がなされています。uh, furthermore, when it comes to the citation of authority or the source material for the Gengo, in principle, uh, it had been uh, Chinese classics that had been used. But this time, uh, the Abe, uh, Prime Minister Abe has uh, indicated his wish that uh, also consideration should be made for uh, Japanese writings to be used as a citation of authority material. And in fact, uh, um, it, there are proposed names coming from Japanese classics, according to uh, reports. Uh, this has been my brief explanation in regard to the Gengo system. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Professor Ogura. That was uh, most interesting, and uh, I'm sure we all learned a lot from that presentation. This gives us about uh, 20 minutes, uh, just under 20 minutes for questions. And uh, I thought I would uh, kick uh, things off myself. Uh, as, we, as we know, Professor, the, uh, the new era name is a closely guarded secret. Yeah, uh, one thing I wanted to ask was, do you have any speculation on what it might be? We've seen uh, lists in the media, such uh, names like Ankyu. Um, do, would you care to speculate on that? And, and one more, if I may. Uh, it, uh, a survey in the Mainichi, I believe, um, uh, said that uh, Japanese, only roughly about 30% of Japanese use Gengo on a regular basis today, as opposed to something like over 80% in the 1970s. What do you think Gengo means to modern Japanese today in 2019? で、あの、まず新しい元号の案についてなんですけども、これはなかなか難しいんですが、え、ま、uh, first of all, in regard to the proposed uh, new uh, era names, uh, it's quite difficult to speculate. However, I do believe that uh, one thing that can be said is that uh, there are going to be uh, relatively easy characters uh, to write and read. And also, uh, it is uh, most likely that uh, the names of uh, notable persons would not be used for the Gengo name. え、もう now, uh, another point in regard to the change in the percentages of people who use Gengo on a periodic basis, uh, there was the change that took place in the Heisei era. Whereas in the previous Ashowa era, it was simply a matter of uh, adding uh, uh, 19, 25 years to the Showa year date, uh, you could come up with uh, the 
you could uh, easily uh, calculate what year uh, it was. However, in the Heisei uh, case, it's quite difficult to do uh, the calculation automatically to determine the years. And so that has led to less usage. I see. Okay. Very interesting. Uh, yeah, certainly my wife, who is Japanese, can Excellent. never seem to remember what uh, Heisei year it is. Um, okay. I'd like to open it up to questions from working reporters. First, please, Martin. Martin Kölling with the German Financial Daily Handelsblatt. Uh, my question is uh, regarding the meaning of uh, the new Gengo. What does it is it a kind of wish? Uh, what does it entail, basically? What is uh, the reason for this, for giving the name, and uh, what does it entail? ま、報道されていることですけれども、安倍総理大臣は希望を持てるような年号にしたいということを、え、語ってるというふうに報道されています。now, uh, according to mass media, it has been reported that uh, Prime Minister Abe is uh, hoping that the new name of the era will reflect hope. え、で、実際にま、どのような言語を考えるのかということなんですけれども、え、あの、大事なことは、あの、ま、言語の言葉というのはあのあまりこれまで使われてないその言葉としてはあの熟語としては使われてない言葉が選ばれる可能性が高いだろうとしかし一方でその元になる出典についていい意味を持ったあるいは希望を持たせるようなものが選ばれる
Süddeutsche Zeitung Neid hat. When I look through Nengo, meaning pre-Meiji, I see hardly any connection between the emperors and the Nengos. There were seven Nengos during the reign of uh, Emperor Osahito. There were very often that the Nengo changed, and not only after uh, the next emperor accessed uh, the throne, but totally uh, unrelated to the emperors. Do you agree that the connection between the emperor and the, uh, the Nengo, or now Gengo, is only invented in uh, 1889? あ、その、え、実一世一元のあの、いうような考え方っていうのは、え、この1891年から出てきたということですか。はい。はい。えっと、その、ま、一世一元の考え方なんですけれども、え、考え方自体は江戸時代の学者で、え、一世一元にすべ
、えーまあ、民主化が進んだ時代でもあったので、まあえー、デモクラシー、えー、民主主義と関連づけて考えられることが多かった。And when it comes to the Taisho era,、uh, throughout the world there was a tendency of、uh, democratization to take place, so that often Taisho is used in reference to its relationship to democracy. Okay, thank you. Do we have a question over here, please? Thank you very much. I'm an associate member, if that's okay, to ask us. Thank you.、Um, thank you for a very interesting talk.、Um, Obviously,、uh, Japan is, is unique in terms of having two, as far as I know at least, in having two methods of recording time.、Um, and、uh, obviously, there are arguments for and against this. But、um, is, is there, is there、uh, I, I'm wondering what is the Perceived to be the benefit of continuing this two phased methodology in terms of. Simply, simply because it causes a lot of confusion and it sort of sets Japan apart from the rest of the world.、Uh, and I'm wondering you know, what are perceived to be the benefits of this from the perspective of the policymakers within Japan. Thank you. なかなか難しい問題ですけれども<笑> That is a very difficult question to answer <笑>、えー、言語は、まああのまあ、昔から、えー、日本に続いてきたあ日本で続いてきたということでやはり、まあ、それをそのままこれからも続けていきたいという考え方が一つあります、uh, One way of looking at it is that、uh, 言語 is something that has continued since、uh, very old times up until now and so there is the wish to continue that 伝統を強調する考え方からすると、やっぱり言語は日本文化の象徴のような、えー、意味合いがあります。And、uh, when we, we look at the efforts to enhance tradition, then、uh, it can be considered that 言語 is a symbolic of a Japanese culture in a sense. ただ、やはり、あのー、日常生活等と使っていく上では西暦の方が便利ですからだんだん西暦を使って言語を使わなくなるという世代が20世紀後半以降増えてきました。But、uh, when it comes to usage of the Gengo in our daily lives, then it is more convenient to use the Gregorian Western calendar. And so, therefore, since the second half of the 20th century, we have seen generations、uh, who find it more convenient to use the Western Gregorian system as、uh, compared to the Gengo. So, the Seifu a Kotek na, a Kobun Shu niwa, Seiriki o Tsukau, a Gengo o Tsukau yoni, to you, a Shiji, a no, ma, two tats o dashi. えー、今公的機関では言語を使うということになっています。However, the、uh, government has、uh, notified that、uh, for official documents, the 言語 system should be used, and so therefore,、uh, when it comes to、uh, official organizations and public organizations, the 言語 system is used for dating. それ,えー、それがさまざまな場面で、まあ、混乱を招いているという、えー、側面はあります。There is the aspect, however, that this has led to、uh, confusion in various areas. 一方で、えーまあ、言語が、えーまあ、数十年で、えー、一つというふうに使われることによって、えー、それがある、えー、時代、えー、を、まあ、特徴づけるあのものとして扱われるということもあります。However, on the other hand, it can be said that the Gengo, since、uh, it usually lasts several decades,、uh, can be used、uh, to characterize a certain era or age. Okay, thank you. And we have another question here, please. In the 1950s, Gengo was very unpopular because、uh, the Japanese people wanted to belong to the world. Then, in the 19, late 70s, 80s, it became more popular. So, is that a sign Japan wants to isolate itself? There's only one country in the world. That has Gengo too, that's North Korea, and I think it's an isolated country. <laughs> まあ、今後どのようになっていくかというのはあのまあ正直言ってわからないところがあります。ま、uh, speaking,、uh, regard to what will happen in the future is something that is not clear. ただ、今回の改元に、えー、おいて、まあえーまあ、コンピューターの問題などが生じましたように、えー、実際に改元が行われるとさまざまな面で生活に、えー、変化を、えー、あ変化それに対応する、えー、ことがまあ求められます。
Now, uh, however, uh, with the current Kaigen, uh, there have been uh, issues that have emerged in regard to computer systems. And so therefore, uh, when it comes to Kaigen or the change of the era name, then in our lives, uh, various uh, ways to adapt to it must be carried out. 今回はまあ、えーまあえー、生前にまあ、退位という形で、えー、後位継承が行われることによって、ある意味それが可能となりました。それが例えばまあ次の改元が行われるときにそれが崩御という形で行われた場合果たしてそれに対応できるのかどうかという問題はあるだろうと思われます。And、uh, the next time if in the event the、uh, next、uh, change in the era name has to take place because of the de demise of the emperor there are questions as to how that, can, that situation can be adapted to. Okay, thank you. I think we'll have one final question please. You mentioned that there is, uh, it's been some、uh, rumors that the Prime Minister favors the word hope or injecting hope into the new era name. If, if later on today we, we hear a new name that has the word hope in it, should we make any kind of connection between the two? まあ、間もなく発表になると思うんですけれども、それを見てみないことには、どこにまあその総理大臣が希望という言葉を込めたがっていたかというのは、ちょっとわからないところがあります。Quite soon now, the announcement will be made, and so we'll have to actually see it to see whether there has been a reflection of the desire for hope to be reflected uh, as uh, the, the Prime Minister has wished or not. Just excuse me, one small other question. I was surprised to hear that only about 30% of Japanese use the new era system. It seems to me how this, that it's something that nobody can even avoid. When you, even a foreigner like me, has to end up with、uh, using my Heisei、uh, birthplace on a hospital form or whatever. So it would seem to me that the, the usage of it would be much higher than 30%. Maybe <laughs> あのまあ、こういわゆる、まあ、あの公的な書類に書くものと日常生活で、えー、使うというところでやっぱり違いはあるだろうと。I haven't seen the specific details of the survey carried out by the Mainichi newspaper, so it's not clear to me. However, there would be a difference between the usage of the Gengo in official documents as opposed to the usage of Gengo in our everyday lives. Okay, great.、Uh, I would like to. Uh, uh Close the proceedings here, and、um, as is the custom here at the FCCJ, I'd like to、uh, offer Professor Oguda a one year honorary membership、uh, to the club, and please thank him for this、uh, briefing. Okay, folks,、um, the new era name will be announced、uh, soon, so、uh, please join us over in the main bar、uh, down the hallway where we can watch a live broadcast. Thank you.